What is up guys, it is the Gaming News Stuff here, and we're back with another Impossible Creatures tutorial. This time, I'm going to teach you guys how to access the single player and multiplayer maps from Impossible Creatures, and use them in the mission editor. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to Google, or whatever you use, and go to this link. I'll have the link in the description, um, so make sure to check there. Um, click download on here, and this will come up. And your download will start in five seconds, and then you'll get this file. Once that file's downloaded, um, extract it. So open it up, the .exe file, and choose your file directory as wherever your Impossible Creatures directory is. For example, mine's in Data Storage Q, Program Files, x86, uh, and then Microsoft Games, and then IC, and extract it into there. Once that's done extracting, you'll see that there is an RDN Tools folder. Open that up, and you'll see all these different programs and tools here. Now, in this file, this is a lot of all modding tools. So if you want to mod Impossible Creatures, this is the type of stuff you use. Now, the file, the program we're going to be using is the Mod Packager. So open that up, and once that's open, you'll just see a blank grey screen with a file and a help button. Click on File and then click open. Now, in the main Impossible Creatures directory, you're looking for engine and IC data. So, firstly, pick engine and open. And as you'll see, there's all different stuff in here. If I come into scenarios, single player, there's all the single player maps right in there. So, what we're gonna do with this is select engine data, and then extract archive. So click that, and once you click extract archive, make a new folder, not your Impossible Creatures folder, make a separate one. See here I've got IC extractions, and then engine. I've already got them exported, but I'll do it again. And open up that folder, and then click OK. And that will extract all of the different files from that folder, into the folder you've specified. So as you can see here, there's about 13,268 files and it doesn't take too long to extract. It's just plodding along. And I'll cut to when that's done. Okay guys, we're back and it's extracted. So you'll see this bar here. So just click okay. And then that one's extracted. Next up, come back up to file and open. And this time we're gonna select IC data. So click that, and as you can see here, again, all different stuff for the campaign and whatnot. So click archive again, and extract archive. And then again, choose exactly where you want to extract it. So I'm gonna come down to program 86, Microsoft games, I see extractions, I see data. Okay, those folders won't be there by the way. You'll have to create them yourself. And as you can see, that one was a lot quicker. So click OK, and then we can close the mod manager, mod packager, sorry, and come out here. And then if you guys come back out into your extraction folder, you'll see all the files are here to uh, whatever, like scenarios, single player, and you'll see all of the fun stuff. You know what I mean? And you can change all of this using all the RDN tools and whatnot, but the main thing we're focusing on today is the maps. So, come back into your IC folder and open up the mission editor. Now, what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do today is include modded animals into the uh, mission editor, into the campaign, sorry. Um, if you guys don't have the mods installed yet, I have another tutorial on how to install Impossible Creatures mods. So go and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description or a annotation on the screen. But now that we're here in the mission editor, let's go file, open. Don't save changes because there's nothing there. And then come into your IC extractions and scenarios, single player. Actually, all right, scrap that. Firstly, what we've got to do is grab IC Extractions, uh, where is it? Engine, Scenarios, and Single Player. Grab all of that, 
and then we're going to move it into here. Preacher Chaos. Oop, sorry, I didn't grab it all. So just grab all of that, I believe. I've a bit not sure on this, sorry, and go to Giant Creatures, Data, and sorry, come into Scenarios and paste the single player missions. Sorry, I'm a bit, <laughs> haven't, I did it once. So um, yeah, come in and paste just the SP folder from where you extracted it into Scenarios. And then what we can do is come back into Mission Editor. I know it's a bit disjointed. And File, Open, no, again. And as you can see here, Scenarios, come back out to Scenarios and Single Player. And you'll see all the missions here from the single player, including the tutorial. So we're going to do single player mission one, just because it'll be easiest to show. And then that'll slowly open up. Takes its time. But and as you can see here, this is map one from, single, from the single player mission. And you can see I've already added in the, um, the creatures that I wanted to show. So I'm going to delete them and re-show you guys how to add in creatures. It's pretty simple. So what you want to do is come over here to stock and as you can see there's all different creatures here from all the different mods. So we're going to use the example of the alien and place him right here. Now as you can see it looks like he's pretty in the world map so yeah, that's basically, and then Rex should be able to collect him as stock. There is a way to go into the triggers and objectives and whatnot to basically edit that he's a objective. Like, as you can see, if we come into the, where is it? There is a gather, an animal gathering objective where basically... I have no idea where it is, but I'm not going to show you guys how to do that yet because it's not necessary. Uh, it's only a optional, optional thing to add them as an objective. If you guys want to see that, just let me know and I'll make another video on how to add them as a objective in the game. But what we're going to do now is we're going to save this mission. File save and then export it. And I am going to quit and meet you guys in uh, Impossible Creatures, creature, ca uh, Giant Creatures mod. And we're going to make sure that the alien is actually in there. Now, we're here in Impossible Creatures. And as you can see up the top, we're in the Giant Creatures mod. Not Standard Impossible Creatures, which is here. And the campaign and tutorial are both accessible. So if we click on campaign... You'll see here, Impossible Creatures 2, The Reborn of Sigma Technology. Now, I don't believe it changes the missions at all. It just says that. So we're going to come in here, choose the first mission, and click Replay Mission. Yeah, let's click this. Sorry, because I have screwed up my Impossible Creatures. And then I will quit. I will... Click restart because my game doesn't like me. And skip the cutscenes. Because we've all seen that if we've played the campaign. And as you can see here, we have an alien. Now, if I click on Rex and right click the alien, you'll see it pops up. The alien looks good because it wasn't a lot done by Rel, who has who had this stupid idea. And if we click on the army management here, you'll see we have our first creature, which is the alien. Now, obviously, we can't combine it with anything because we haven't collected anything yet. But yeah, that, guys, is basically how you add any modded creature into the campaign maps. Now, obviously, you can do this for any of the campaign maps. But yeah, this is just an example because it was the first map. Now, if you guys want to see more tutorials on how to do different things with the mission editor and the campaign maps and whatnot, such as using the campaign maps in multiplayer or adding the triggers as object secondary objectives, then make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know. And if this helped you guys at all or whatever, then 
leave a like, comment that it helped, or subscribe for more videos like this, and peace out.